Hello everyone, welcome back to another wonderful playthrough of Everlasting Summer. Ha, JK, no, it's just a revisit. Uh, did I get you? Probably not. Okay, let's go see- <laughs> Let's go see how we can be by our lonesome if anything changes. Even though I'm sure something is gonna change, but... Let's go on the most lonely path! <laughs> and then this is where we say, ha, no, Slavia, I don't care. <laughs> it's just literally just being like a loner in this whole playthrough. Because I think when I think Lonesome Semian, I think of him just not even interacting as much as possible. Do not attempt- Yeah, no, just a lot of inactivity. Like, don't even interact with the girls, don't even do anything, don't even give a shit about anything. You're just going with the flow. How about I just lose? Doesn't matter. Gotta go to the bus stop. I think just going to the bus stop means we just want to go home, so that's what the game is gonna sense. Yeah, there's no, like, electronic or shuriken ending, so I'm guessing he's just hanging out with the guys as much as possible. Run away. <laughs> so just we don't even play as anyone just who cares about anything and then we ask Slava hey what's the bundle oh woman stuff uh, blah 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 I will go alone <laughs> alrighty here we go lonesome time I don't understand so if Semyon goes alone you know the whole motivation for the other time Semyon went to this camp is because he had a harem with her so now I feel like because Semyon goes alone I feel like he would just honestly just not do it right <laughs> our playful laughter Wait, Semyon, why are you he are you actually hearing laughter or is it just the spooky visions that are coming by seeing this old camp? The translucent children joyfully running and frolicking in the uh, lard. yard. A strict camp leader on the threshold holding a basket of ripe apples in her hand. The old clean lady taking a nap in the shade. Dude, this is so specific even though we're trying to like not think about this, Semyon. After all, I'm here to find Shurik. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to find Shurik. I, wa I wonder what the bad ending for Semyon is. I really don't remember. But I was pulled my I pulled myself together, turned on the flashlight, and stepped over the threshold. Wow, Semyon, so much bravery. How? Oh, in the Slavian playthrough, she noticed the doll. I don't remember Lena noticing anything here, though. There was a book on the table, faded with age. Probably there's somebody who manages this ongoing story or writes a scenario for an episode of play who sues costumes for the local pioneers and creates like a- creates sense like this abandoned camp. <laughs> like literally everything's just a film set though, dude. Why is there even just such an old camp that's near the new campgrounds anyway? Wouldn't they just renovate it, honestly? Or like tear it down? You know, as much as like Semyon is like freaked out, he's really triumphing everything with logic right now. All of a sudden, I notice a strange depression in the corner. A small trap door. Oh, spooky. An adult would barely be able to squeeze through it. I still find it weird that's our job to save Shurik. Like, even if without the heroines even being here, it's still just Semyon's sworn duty to get Shurik back from wherever he is. Oh, it's so sad to not see when someone fill up this space. Like, oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Soon I found myself in front of a massive metal door. Hey, not spooky. You know, in any other situation, I feel like no one would ever really go down this deep, you know? Like, I feel like once you see, like, a metal door with the biohazard sign, that's a good time to get out. I made a decision and opened the door. Damn, Semyon! So decisive. I shared strongly. My hands began to tremble as my vision dimmed. Oh no, Semyon, no! If somebody came down here recently and wasn't found in this room, then it'd be logical to assume that he's behind this door. I called out in a whisper. Shh. No reply. The walls were closing in. My head almost touched the ceiling, but I could not make out the end of the corridor. I you know, for someone who's super scared, or who was scared, or like, Semyon has like a great amount of like, control with his emotions and less fear every time I'm like reading this. Cause you know in the other two parts he seems like way more scared than the other herons that are there, but really, Semyon's got this down, man. The walls and the ceilings are reinforced with wooden beams. Yada yada, the tunnel was so long that my flashlight was insignificant insufficient. I'm just waiting for Indiana Jones to just come in through like the hole right here. Alrighty, here we are. <sighs> yeah, Semyon's a champ, honestly. He's not really fucking freaked out or anything. <laughs> Nobody here was here except Oh, there's our boy! <sighs> uh ah, don't come near me. Shurik, it's <laughs> literally too similar, fuck. Oh my god. Shurik, it's me, Semyon. I won't get- <laughs> Oh my god. Should I hold my nose for this? I won't give in- give up so easily. <laughs> okay, I just assume everything is Fox Girl's fault with the, if there's anything that's supernatural here. Because there's no way Shurik would have just gone down here by himself, right? Or no, no, there is a way. No, that's exactly what he did. He must have gone completely nuts. Sure, come down. Nobody's pretending to be me. I am. I really am me. I tried to talk calmly as I could, but I was almost feeling more nervous than him. 
Samian? <laughs> he squinted. Is that really you? Yes, and now tell me what happened. How did you get here? Oh, he he recovers! Like, what? <laughs> okay. So you think, Sem so is Semyon just more afraid than the other people's path? You know, the other lady's path? Because it seems like he got Shurik to just be okay in like three seconds. Shurik recovered his breath and started to talk. I needed some parts for- uh, <laughs> Shit, that's Semyon's voice. I needed some parts for the robot. And I heard that there's a bomb shelter in the old camp. And there could be some instruments here there. So I got up in the morning and went. He stopped for a moment, trying to deal with the trembling of his hands. I found suitable parts, but then I read primal fear in his eyes. The voices, they told me to go here. I went down to the mine, and they were telling me to go to the right, then left, then right, then left, then right, then left. You know, I would have loved if a voice told me, like, left and right when to go. That would be cool. He started at Shurik. There's no one there. I wasted quite a lot of time walking into the mine like you, but I didn't hear any voices. He fixed his eyes on mine. Or me. Then you're- you're with them- OH SHIT! Fucking Shurik versus Semyon, dude. Shurik wrenched towards me. I was just barely able to dodge him. No, our flashlight! But the flashlight wasn't as lucky and took a force of Shurik's blow. We found ourselves in complete darkness. It was my turn to lose my mind. That's alright. That's fine. <laughs> I know the exit is. Follow me- WAIT! Uh, what happened?! You literally lunged at Semyon and then you're like, Okay, no, we're fine. While you were, I can't see a damn thing, Gabaka. Follow my voice. I had no other choice. I don't- Here. Why- why would Shurik even lunge at- it? I mean, we did trigger his, like, need for the voices thing, but that's so, like... Ugh, okay, Shurik. Shurik's voice was heard from somewhere further on. Good old Genda. We We reached the wall. The way towards freedom was blocked by a lattice on the ceiling. I pulled me up. Shurik immediately- oh, Shurik obeyed and followed my request. I started to hit the grating with my fist so hard that a few strikes- Oh! Yo! That's so metal, Samian. Oh my god. What the fuck? They will come for you. Dude, I'm gonna stop- Can we just stop hanging out with Shurik for the rest of this playthrough? I fell to the ground exhausted. Ooh. They will come. Dude, what? Like the ring weights? You ever wonder why they put decided to put again the statue in the middle of the square? Look who's here! Yo, dude, you're the one who's like. Ugh. <sighs> okay, wait. I don't remember what was the context of this. Did she say we would find Shurik in the morning, and then we were like, no, we should find Shurik now? Okay, yeah. So was it our own volition? I'll get Dimitri now. Fuck off. I don't want to deal with you right now. I said entirely, attempting to cut the explanation to the minimum. You said you were going for a walk, but instead. And I was going to call- call police! And- Oh, good day, I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm really, really tired. I can't believe you eyed me all over. <sighs> okay, fine. Wait, don't you remember that Semyon's fucking bleeding? Because he punched- his, He, like, one punches- He literally just one punched, man, his way out from a mine, dude. I was a bit surprised that she agreed so fast, but decided not to waste this opportunity and quickly turn the light off and dart under the covers. Wait, Semyon, your hands, bro! Okay, then, I guess. And we're remaining seated. I guess it's enough for me today. No talking a woman at all. I noticed Lena and Alyssa who took their places on the trunk opposite of me. It seems that everything was alright. And after a few minutes ago, I thought I thought the opposite while looking at the coral. But everything, anything is possible. Hmm. See, if they're already quarreling, like if Lena and Alyssa are already quarreling, does that mean, like, is it canon that Lena just has a crush on us? <laughs> Sorry didn't come back. Fucking dead. <laughs> Maybe she had something to do. Once again, there's no way to find out now. Okay, let's start. Moscow. Uh, uh, Pioneer started to name cities. Oh, okay. Is that how you play the game? Finally, it was my turn. I tried to listen closely to catch the first letter of the city I have to use. Huh. Arkhanschlik. That's probably not how you say it. Oh! <laughs> sinistic. Future sinistic. Please put it in an edit here where I you hear the right correction of that. You're daydreaming again. Well, it's not the thing of the game where it's like whoever loses, you get out. Then let's get the final two or whatever. It was Sevastopol. 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 Okay, then I'll say London. Oh, okay. So it's not just cities and just like, like Russia. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everyone. Oh, and now go to sleep. It's late already. Pioneers quickly ran their own ways and I left together with the camp leader. And we should go, too. 
hey, are we actually being a good pioneer, though? We're actually being a good pioneer. We went to the compl we went in complete silence to Ogre Dimitrina's cabin. Okay, let's sleep. You don't need to tell me twice, Olga. She said, turning off the light. I was tossing and turning for quite a while, recalling, recalling all the events of the day. On the one hand, I was overcome with fatigue. On the other hand, I couldn't shake the feeling I'd forgotten something, done something wrong. It said some- Oh my god. The feeling when you know you're on the bad ending. <laughs> Even though I don't think we're on the bad ending. And the feeling of incompleteness was tormenting me. Aww. Sorry, said man. We're get you're gonna have to deal with that for now. <coughs> oh wow, this is going by quick. It was 1 p.m. according to my cell phone, which was ooh, which was squeezing the last drops of charge out of its battery. Strangely enough, my body didn't ache, my head felt clearer, and then all in all, it was a good beginning to the day. Totally missed the lineup. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Along the way, I met a pioneer whose face looked- whose face somehow looked strangely familiar- Yeah, no! I called him Gomez in the old playthrough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. He's like our shadow self, right? Oh, shit! Mm. Oh, it's him! Pioneer lady gets the washstand over there. I couldn't see his face, but judging by his figure, he looked like the one I saw a couple minutes ago. Oh, shit! <laughs> He's the evil Sapien! I know! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Oh no, what, what more should I give him? It's, it's basically evil Semyon, right? So he's like talking to himself. Oh, how do I make that deeper? <coughs> Alright. How? No. How? How are you? Maybe I should make it sound more robotic. How are you doing? How are you doing? The sun's so bright today. I looked up in the sky, shielding my eyes with my palm. Yeah. The camp leader is so angry today. Oh, is angry today. So angry. His voice sounded painfully familiar to- ah! Well, she's always like that. Well, yeah, no, I guess I should switch back to his voice then. Well, you know better, yeah. I try to remember if I've heard his voice or seen his pioneer before. Well, see ya. <laughs> Genda, give us some wisdom. He was meditating, as always. Maybe I'm already dead. This is the last stop. Please get off the train. Hmm. Oh, oh, shit, he's back. Oh, scared me, dude. <clears throat> what are you thinking about? I looked up and saw the pioneer I'd seen before. I couldn't see his face again as the sun was shining in the eyes. Dude, he has no eyeballs. You know, life. It seems like he would sit down next to me, but the pioneer stayed in the same place, only half turned, which completely killed any hope of seeing his face. Listen, have we met earlier? I don't think I remember you. Well, let's say that you know who I am. What? But I don't. I laugh sincerely. Here, you don't. What? Are you like the Semyon from our old time? I'm confused. He answered short. I see. Honestly, it's not like I didn't want to talk. I just didn't know what to talk about. And my soul is so calm that this didn't bother me. Your first time here. He asked a question, but his tone implied that he was only expecting confirmation. Yes, and you? Me. He paused for a few seconds. Nah, it's not my first time here. One might say I visit this camp every year since my early childhood. Huh. Such an answer got me interested. Well, and what was it like? Before. It was always the same. Okay, so it's not Semyon? I'm pretty sure it's th this is like bad Semyon, right? He's fucking with us. I'll go to Mintrava being the camp leader. All the same pioneers around. All the same lineups in the mornings. All these wicked accidents. Wonder if he's living through a time loop, huh? For a moment, I thought that it, was that it was speaking to me, not him. Interesting. It's just that with every new... He hesitated. Year. More and more interesting things happen. No one gets to understand better what's going on. What are you talking about? This conversation positively triggered my curiosity. It's a pity that I can't distinguish the face of this pioneer at all. Okay, hashtag theory. How about... This bad Semyon has lived in Sovignok camp in like a year. Like he just go keeps going through a loop and maybe this is like the first year that our, us as Semyon showed up. Well, every session in the pioneer camps reminds me of the previous one. He said calmly. Probably. This is my first. It shows. The pioneer grinned. But it looks like it won't be the last. Well, it's fun here and all. But you know how they say there's no place like home, but you still have to get back there. And I was absolutely sure this guy was hiding something from me. To be precise, he stood out too much from the camp's usual ordinariness and was too different from the local inhabitants. Dude, he has no eyeballs. Of, cor of course he stands out. What do you mean? You think I'm stuck here forever or something? I said, enunciating every word. 
<sighs> what a set of mysteries we are here to solve. Pioneer had no time to answer as the lunch bell sounded. I turned my head towards the loudspeaker, and by the time I looked back, the guy was already gone. God, get a look at his face, Samuel! Thousands of theories and speculations instantly appeared in my mind, but I stopped myself, remembering all the apparent normality of this camp. After all, nothing so supernatural has happened in these five days. Moreover, everything seemed too natural, sometimes even boring. Maybe this pioneer didn't mean anything by then, I just misunderstood him. No, dude. It's fucking a time traveler. Thinking that I went to the canteen, intending to feast. For today, we had okroshka, which I really didn't like, and cutlets and potatoes. Ostruxia is a traditional Russian cold soup. Huh. I sat in the corner and mentally rejoiced that I was able to eat in peace. My fa- my father. My table was the farthest away from the kitchen. I could reasonably hope the pioneers who were looking for a free place wouldn't reach it. Or would reach it last. However, when I moved on to the main course, Slavia Shurik and Electronic appeared from the crowd. Hey, blonde trio! Can we? I had nothing against their company. Of course. Listen, do you know this pioneer? I saw him today. You know, he's so... I suddenly realized I don't know how to describe him. Well, about this my height, same constitution. Hard to say from such a description. Slavia smiled. Well, we have a half a camp of such guys if it comes to that. All in all, they were right. Uh, why are you asking? It's just that I met him today. And it seems like I haven't seen him here before. Look in the canteen. I don't think he'll miss lunch. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> That's it. Okay, guys, enjoy your meal. Aww. I got up and started slowly walking in the rows of tables, literally just inspecting each row. Lena and Jenya are sitting over there. I gave them a friendly smile. Listen, and Ulyana were laughing or arguing about something. Olga Dimitrima is surrounded by pioneers. Good thing she didn't notice me. There are hardly any free seats, but the guy from this morning is nowhere to be seen. Oh, he's a sh he's our shadow, dude! Shadow Semyon! The situation is getting more and more interesting. Looks like I won't be able to find him here. Maybe you already had lunch? Head towards the exit. Dude, he's only been showing up when we're by ourselves, so it's gotta be something with us. It was so hot outside that it seemed like he would instantly melt after coming out in the shade. I suddenly felt like sleeping. I yawned to head to the camp leader's cabin in order to follow the domestic interpretation of the Archimedes principle. Wait, what? Okay. In the end, Olga Dimitrova is unlikely to return anytime soon. At least I think so, and I will definitely have to have a couple hours to rest. Anyways, I don't really expect any other options to arise, especially in this heat. Dude, he's gonna show up and be in our cabin. The heavy, heavenly coolness in the cabin became my salvation. I took my clothes off and jumped into bed. Crickets were lazily chirping outside and the wind was shaking the curtains on the window and I sank into a dream. Knock on the, knocking on the door woke me up. The knocks were soft but insistent. Oh my god, it's gonna be bad Simeon, dude! I reluctantly, got on, I reluctantly got up and went to open it. Strangely, there was nobody on the doorstep. I opened my eyes and stepped out to look around. All the same, no one around. A dream, maybe. Dude, you opened the door and he's in there. It was already 4 o'clock. I felt jaded. I probably shouldn't have slept in the afternoon. After all, I knew this was going to happen. I'm waiting for him. I really am. I put on my boots and left the cabin and locked the door. Where should I go? All in this time, there's not too much till dinner. A sudden thought came to me. It'd be nice to refresh myself, so I went towards the beach. The sun has passed the midday mark a while ago. It gets dark early here in the south. I squinted and looked up at the flaming disc. Who is that just now? I flinched. The same mysterious guy was standing in front of me. And once again, his face was hard to see due to the bright light. How hard is it to see someone's face, dude? For a moment, the sun blinded me so I could not see anything besides the faint contours of objects. Are you stalking me? Nope. I was just passing by. He answered calmly. Then you should know better. So you haven't seen anyone. Correct. Dude, what if he's looking for the fox girl, man? I rubbed my eyes, but it did not help. Why didn't I see you at lunch? I asked bluntly. I wasn't hungry. He laughed. Dude, dude. I blinked a few times. No! <sighs> I blinked a few times as my vision came back, but the pioneer had miraculously disappeared once again. What the hell is going on here? Now I was absolutely sure there was something strange about that guy. He must be directly ready to ill everything uh, happening around here. Dude, we have to find him and quarter him. I'll have to find out. But for starters, it's good to confirm that I'm not mistaken, that he's just not just a local pioneer. Yeah, no, he's a... Fucking mystery. It was quite crowded at the beach. It looked like everyone from the camp was here. Good to Mitchell, standing just a bit further apart from anyone, keeping for an eye on her for army of pioneers. As soon as I thought about coming coming here might not be the best idea, she noticed me. Ooh, she's gonna lecture us, huh? Hey, Simeon. 
You weren't at the lineup, and in general you were just lounging around all day. That's true. I did not know how to answer. And just how you plan on becoming a proper pioneer? She continued to more softly. Olga Dimitrova in the camp. Is there a pioneer who looks a lot like me? She looks surprised. Maybe. I don't know. Why? Shouldn't you know, like, everyone in the camp, Olga? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm just curious. Well, we have a lot of boys here. Alright, never mind. Somebody's yell came from the riverside. Olga Dimitrova rushed in its direction. But looks like I'll be spared a lecture. I lowered myself on the sand and stared at the pioneers playing in the water. Well, imagine that you're chatting with a weird person. And you have to figure out exactly what is so weird about them. Simple! I would just ask them! She laughed. Too simple. But he won't answer. How do you know? Have you tried asking? No, but it's obvious. Bouillon did not answer, just sat down next to me and let out a tired sigh. <sighs> I'm all swimmed out. And what if they know something, but I won't tell you? Make them! Oh, it's pretty direct. But how? For a minute longer, we sat talking. Oh, we sat together talking about random things, and I got up and said goodbye and ran away. Well, thank you for talking to me, Uliana. It's time to find a mysterious stranger and get all the answers. The first place was to visit the bus stop. Good idea. I was ready to turn around and go back to the camp, but then I heard someone whisper. Don't trust him. What? Someone's hiding behind the monument. Dude, Semyon, man. S uh, a pioneer was sitting there with his back to me. Once again, I don't remember this fucking CG. I, w I, I went through Semyon's endings, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, who's seemingly familiar? Who are you? I took a few steps towards him. Stop. Don't come any closer. For some reason, I froze in my tracks. Oh, because we don't want to see his face, I guess? From somewhere deep inside, an assurance came to me and I understood that I shouldn't argue with him. Alright, I'll stay here. Have you seen him? Talk to him. Man, I don't know. Who are you talking about? He asked nervously. Who are you even talking about? He was dressed in a pioneer uniform. You know who? And I definitely did not know. He was talking about the weird pioneer I saw earlier. Yes? Wait! Wait, so this isn't the same guy? But the text- but the box is the same color! I entered after a few moments of silence. What did he tell you? Pioneer asked in a pleading tone. Nothing, really. Did he give you advice? Did he tell you what to do? Threaten you? No, nothing like that. Of course, he seemed pretty weird, but nothing more than that. Remember, he may not be alone, or more likely he is alone, but you may meet pioneers who, here who look like him. What are you talking about? Who are you? Who are you hiding from? You will understand. Wait, but who are you? In time. What? Just remember, the most important thing is to find the exit. Yo, what if that's a Semyon from a different timeline? All of a sudden, a strong gust of wind came through, ripping leaves from the trees and throwing an old paper bag into my face. How very anime. Shielding myself, I averted my eyes. When I looked back at the monument, the pioneer was already gone. That's spooky. At the moment, I was overwhelmed by fear. Real, almost tangible fear. Yeah, that's really weird. Was this all- This is literally all happening the same time as, like, the romances, dude. I remember being scared during my first hours at this camp. I stopped in front of the clubhouse, but then re but then realized that this is not the best spot to be at. I could run into someone, which was not something I wanted to do at the moment. Well, probably should go into nature then, right? In the forest? Everyone's probably having dinner, so a good chance to make it all- to all go to Dimitri's place without being noticed. I decided to take my first- I decided to first take my clothes that I wore when I arrived here along with my cell phone. I won't be able to come up with a solid plan right off the bat, so for the time being, I might as well hide in the forest. Alright. Huh. So, I wonder if those two Semians are, like, fighting against each other. Maybe they're, like, spies, like, trying to outdo each other. Ugh. All very, very mysterious things. I leaped up on the steps and entered the building. My clothes are right where I left them. My phone was he where it was supposed to be. Under my pillow. I quickly grabbed it and readied my stuff into my pocket, but then I noticed something on the screen. The message window was open. Huh. The text read, Yo! <laughs> oh my god! You're wrong, Semyon. You are so wrong. Yo, that's fucked. Who wrote that? If Olga Dimitrova could have typed this in this message. Dude, no way. Nah. -uh. Or the one of the pioneers. No way. You lock the door every time you come in. It's easy to figure out how to do it, even if they're not familiar with this technology. But no one beside me should know where I keep this phone. Yeah! This event was on the straw that broke the camel's back. Man, I appreciate the soundtrack going into the moment. I could have stayed here until morning, lost in my own thoughts, but I heard footsteps coming toward, coming from somewhere nearby. <sighs> ah! Oh my god, here he is! Ah! <clears throat> 
So you decided to escape after all. I turned around, but I couldn't see the pioneer's face in the dark. Why can't we see his face, dude? Nevertheless, I was pretty sure that it was him. The ba bad Semyon. Like, Semyon 1? Bad Semyon 1? Ooh. I wasn't afraid then. Dude, where is good Semyon? I wouldn't call this an escape. My answer slowly stretching every word. Huh? Then what is it? A tactical retreat. Brilliant. Oh fuck, dude. Why did that guy tell you at the gate? Oh fuck, we got a bribery! It seemed to me he didn't even hear my question. He told me not to trust you. I lied. But on the other hand, I thought it was what he meant. Well, that's always the ways for him, running away, hiding. Are they like two separate Semyon entities? Like good Semyon and bad Semyon? Like, oh my god. I could hear irritation in his voice. I'm not sure what kind of circus you're running here, but I'm not going to be part of it. Oh, why not? You're the star, after all. Dude, he's literally like bad Semyon and good Semyon. Dude, it's like the devil angel scenario. You know, I was like you in the beginning. The first time everything went peacefully. Then I escaped. I tried to understand what's going on. Got mad and even tortured them to get the truth. Oh, dude. Wait, so are you telling me that he's stuck in a Groundhog Day sort of situation? But like... How long has he been here enough to do that? Dude, that's crazy. I shivered. But it was pointless. Continued the pioneer after calming down a bit. Pointless. And then I began to notice the lapses. At first I just heard their voices, from a distance and sometimes in my head. The vague silhouettes appeared. They then slowly turned into physical form! And then finally, they stepped into my world. I can touch them. Introduce them to other pioneers. What are you talking about, dude? And they were all different. Different. Do you get it? Different. No, I don't. I started shouting. And it recurred again. And again. You can get used to the loops, but... Then I learned how to get into the worlds by myself. To interact with others. But it turned out that I'm not alone. There are lots of us. Wait, really? Today you saw at least one more. He fell silent. But I didn't know what question to ask and didn't want to interrupt the story, so I simply waited. Wait, so, okay, I can I can believe there are multiple Semyons experiencing the same thing. What I'm a little bit unsure of is, like, are there- is it, like, the same Semyon? Or experiencing different timelines? Is this, like, a primer situation? After a minute, he continued. It's not that simple, of course. And it's not always possible. Only under certain circumstances. When you feel so strong emotions, for example. I still remember how I saw him the first time. And the, this time that I didn't feel any emotions at all. Clearly the moments where you feel happy. As if he was reading my thoughts. I see. So you're trying to say that there's several parallel worlds, including the same camp, with its inhabitants where I am replaced by you or that guy I'm at the bus stop? Yeah, something like that. Okay, parallel world theories and hy hypothesis. It's cool. His answer didn't surprise me at all. And again, it's clear that... Once again, he laughed hysterically. And how many loops have you experienced so far? I stopped counting them already. Ooh, fuck. But you're not... Okay. <clears throat> so, I like... Is he... I like to believe he's not actually Semyon, right? He's just some other dude? Or... No, no, no. He looks exactly like Semyon, though. Fuck. Uh... Let's just say if he stopped counting them already, maybe it's like a hundred, at least. At first I tried to remember them though. Maybe a few hundred. No wonder, it's very clear to me that this guy was suffering with a progressing mental dysfunction. But you searched for a way out, didn't you? You know what? Maybe this is the result of like Semyon not trying to get with any of the girls. They just, you just keep putting back in the same loop over and over again. Man. Oof. So it's like the Semyon that's us right now is like, that's our future self. Oh my gosh, bad Semyon is our future self if we didn't try to get with any of the girls in the camp. That's what the guy at the bus stop was talking about. Because he understands nothing! Damn it! He shouted. Because he's just like you, constantly running away, hiding. What would you suggest then? If I had any suggestions, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Alright, but you are trying, weren't you? Are you trying to understand what I know since I've been around here for a long time? Yes, cheerfully. I mean, yeah, seems pretty logical. Well, that's evident. Yes, I did try to run away from here. I finally asked. And what about the people around here? Don't they raise any reasonable suspicions? Suspicions? 
Oh man. The people. I feared them at first too. And I used them for different experiments. Like what, dude? <clears throat> and now I don't even concern them humans. They're all dolls, puppets. But doesn't matter. Nobody but you is real here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if you can still touch them and feel them, they are real. They're just, we're, I feel like we're just put in like a bubble of a situation, you know? The pioneer suddenly fell silent. But how many others have you seen so far? Not that many. The pioneer was lost in thought. About ten people, maybe. Ooh, ten semians though? Mm. Is everyone like this? In fact, yes. Well, I like to think those ten semians are just trying... I like to think those 10 Semians are all following the Semian route, that's why they're getting so fucked over. Cause you- cause I feel like the Semians that do get to leave are the ones that get with, like, anyone in the camp, you know? In fact, yes, the only details are different, but the main thing is invariable. There's no way out of here. No, dude, you just need to fall in love. Well, why would you close your eyes, dude? Huge ghost! I closed my eyes and lost myself in thought. This was a critical mistake. Let's fucking stab you. No. When I opened my eyes, I didn't see anyone, just like the previous times. Why would you close your eyes, man? So it's clear what's going on now. But in fact, how could everything he said to me guide me to an answer? Well, now we know that everything's sort of like in its own loop. We just gotta find out what breaks said loop. Yes, I'm not alone. Everything- yes, everything recurs. What's the reason for all of this? And what's more important? Where's the way out? The only useful thing that I should from this conversation was that the local inhabitants are not worth fearing. It's good. Where would be the way out? Definitely not the way we came back in. I probably just need to think about it a little bit more. That was quite significant for me now, since it was much better to sleep in a warm cabin instead of the forest. Why did I not ask him about the message on my phone and, and some other stuff? There were hints after all. Maybe they're not from him though. Maybe the message on my phone is from someone else. Maybe if I found some details out, I could have drawn some conclusions. However, it didn't seem like our meeting would be the last one. Speak of the devil, here you are! The camp leader said angrily. All good imagery, but I'm so tired now. It's tired now, so let's put off the lecture. Tired from what, I wonder? From everything. I snapped rudely. Semyon, a role model pioneer shouldn't behave like that. And how should he behave then? Well, not like that. Yeah, so specific. You should respect his seniors. I respect you immensely, for sure. Semyon? The sarcasm in my voice didn't go unnoticed. And now I'd like to sleep. Wait, I... By the way, how far is the nearest town? When does the bus arrive? How do I even get out? How can I even get out of here? I asked in a surprisingly calm voice. There's no answer, and there shouldn't have been any. I said this all just to get. I said all. I said all this just. It's just nowhere to get rid of her. Why are you silent? I'm tired. Let's talk about that tomorrow. Isn't day seven the last day at the camp? Huh? You know, I just noticed that this poster is a poster of a dude with a bag on his head. Is this from a movie? Huh. Alright. I managed to only take a couple of steps as somebody ran into my back. I turned around and saw Alyssa. Oh, hello, Alyssa. Hey, be careful. Oh, no, come back. We need to talk to someone that's not ourselves. She said indifferently and ran on her way. She held some kind of bag in her hands. Though I just didn't want to believe that everything is as bad as that guy told me. Yeah, I think he's just only crazy because he was so focused on searching for answers. The actual camp itself is, is like... You know, normal. Yeah, because the actual stuff you do in the camp is like not even terrible by any means of the imagination. Oh, fuck, dude. He's back. This fucking jump scare me. Jesus. Good morning. I heard a faint voice from coming from the woods. Someone stood behind a tree. Morning. Are you ready? For what? Ready for what? Looked again. It seemed like it was the pioneer from the bus stop yesterday. What do you want from me, dude? Indeed, I was prepared for such weirdness today, so I wasn't really surprised and started this conversation quite clear headed. You didn't believe him, did you? What are you talking about? Everything that he said? Alright, boy's opinion about what's happening. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, so this is the one. Okay, so they just have the same face? They have the same face, but this is the pioneer from the bus stop. Okay, got it. If you just. Semyon? I turned around. Slava was standing right next to me. Who are you talking to? No one. Just talking to myself. I hardly think it's worth telling me about the aliens from this parallel world. Yeah, no, I'm wondering, like, why hasn't all the other Semians just... Like, I know we've met, but ha wouldn't it be, like, more interesting to see, like, what would it be like if they all showed up in the middle of the square for everyone to see, you know? 
She probably can't even see them anyway. Really? I guess it's because we haven't learned anything yet, right? We need to learn a lesson here. But this time I know everything. I haven't packed yet. It's not like I have much to pack anyway. <sighs> okay. Slava shifted her gaze. Seems like she wanted to say something but was hesitant. Well, see you then! Yeah. I had to ask where we were leaving at least. I scratched my head and made my way to Olga Dimitrovna's cabin. Surely there should be something edible in the table drawers. And I ate everything with deliberate pleasure, washing it down with the smelly water that Olga Dimitrovna probably used to water the plants. Ew, Semyon, what the fuck? Just as I finished, someone started knocking at the door. Come in. Oh, Liana, hey. Liana rushed into the room. Oh, it's just you! Oh, she said disappointedly. And who did you expect to see? A circus complete with bears? Liana giggled. Where is Olga Dimitrovna? Don't know. I shrugged. Why not? I don't know, because I just don't know. Why do you want- who- I, what do you want from her anyway? Gotta ask something before the departure. Okay, I'll tell her that you're searching for her if I see her. By the way, why aren't you packing up? Oh fuck. <coughs> Voice crack. <laughs> Jesus. Like I have much to pack. Well, see you then. Oh, talking to Le Liana just showing up in spritz of energy. It's nice talking to her in this path of just Semyon. She cracked a sly smile and bound bounded out of the cabin, slamming the door behind her. Well, right now I'm more ready to believe it than ever. The desk drawer was my... The desk drawer where I found my breakfast contained lots of odds and ends. I grabbed a pencil and a piece of paper, examining them from some time and slipped them into my pocket. Just in case. I had no intention of watching all over the pioneers running around the packet, packing. Whoa. So I laid in my bed and I didn't even notice how I dazed off. Dude, wait. All this play- There's playthroughs of semi just literally him sleeping every chance that he gets. It was somebody's voice that woke me up. Dude. Yeah, hey. Are you the good Semyon or the bad Semyon? The middle pioneer was sitting directly opposite with his back to me. Hey, why do you always hide your face? Because you shouldn't see it. If you say so. Well, I don't know. I'd love to see your face, actually, though, really. So what are you going to reveal this time? You already know it's the last day of the session, don't you? Yep. And you've already spoken with that one? God, are you- I don't know. Yep. So what did he tell you? Nothing special. He said that there's an exit out of here. Oh, okay, so bad Semyon. And Pioneer burst into laughter. I don't know, if this is supposed to be like actual Semyon, his hairstyle looks completely different from what we see in the CGs. You know what, if anything, I still can't tell if I'm on the good or bad ending with this path. Somebody was knocking at the door. I got up to open it. Slavia. It was Slavia on the doorstep. You came to see Olga Dimitrovna? No. Come in then. I was 100% sure the pioneer had already disappeared. Turns out I was right. Slavia took a seat on the bed and I stuggled against the wardrobe in, in the far corner of the room. She was distinctly nervous. Did something happen? Not really, it's just... Today's the last day. Well, I'm already aware. Better late than never. Well, so I thought. I mean, we probably won't see each other ever again. It's a small world, as they say. But maybe... Oh, But maybe you would give me your address to write letters? Oh, What? Slavia, that's so sweet. Why would you even ask that? We don't even interact with you that much and you still ask that? Is it canonical that Slavia has a crush on us? I'm so confused. What? Or, or have we just gotten a deep friendship? I would have if I only knew it myself. You know, let's do it the other way around. You give me your address. I'll definitely write to you upon arrival. But why don't you want to give out yours? Well, we we're about to just move, so you never know. It's better if I write to you. I try to put on my cutest smile and make my story look more credible. Uh, okay, it's fine then. Slava got up and seemed to be leaving. Hey, wait, what about the address? Let's do it later. Wh why? We could just do it right now! Okay, I guess? An expression of sorrow and disappointment crossed her face. Okay, I guess. I guess maybe she maybe maybe she wanted to send something to us. I and then she's sad that she got did it, did it. I guess. I just shut the door and right and then I heard spiteful voice of the pioneer from behind. Well, happy now. You've heard a girl. I mean, like not really. What else could I really do to tell her the situation? It's your world, not mine. I'll manage somehow on my own. You know, if there's one thing that I don't understand is that like, how are their worlds meshing? Or maybe like all the timeline- Okay, so good Simeon and bad Simeon. 
maybe their um, camp experiences all are happening at the same time, but yet they're still able to talk to each other because they see each other, I guess? The last phrase really made me squirm. You know what? I didn't manage to finish the phrase. Someone was knocking at the door again. Come in. Liana flew into the cabin. Hello, Liana. Why the rush, my lady? I made an excessively showy bow. Me? I'm just... Her eyes darted around cautiously and her cheeks were blushed. I just wanted to say goodbye. Does everyone have a crush? Okay. Do people, do people canonically have a crush on Semyon? Like, what? What is this? There'll be a time for that anyway. After all, we're gonna go on the same bus. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. But it's kind of embarrassing in front of everyone. Oh, so is there something that you can be embarrassed by? I laughed. Her. She pouted. I just wanted to tell you that you aren't a douche. Really. In fact, you're almost a cool guy. Oh my god, dude. That's so nice. Her words astonished me. Well, thanks. You're good to hang out with, too. Well, that's that! Oh, that's sweet. She rushed outside, slamming the door loudly. Hey, didn't expect that from her. <laughs> He's li literally just popping in and out. I like to imagine that bad Simeon just going inside, like, the closet and then just coming out whenever- <laughs> Like, going, going in when someone knocks on the door and then coming out whenever they leave. Just because you failed to do, just because you failed to do so doesn't mean that I'll fail too. You're the boss. There was a knocking at the door. So quiet that I can barely hear it. Is it Lena? Damn, who else is it? Hissed under my breath and I shouted, Come in! But the door didn't open, so I pulled the handle myself. Lena was on the doorstep. Looks like I really scared her. Oh I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You came to see Olga Dimitrivna? No. She said, staring at the ground. So what is it then? What did Lena want want from me? Come in. She came in hesitating in the middle of the room. Wanna take a seat? I pointed at one of the beds. Lena hesitated a bit more, but nevertheless took a seat. Did something happen? Not at all. It's just... She threw a quick glance at me, but blushed once and looked away. Here! Lena took something out of her pocket and handed it to me. Whoa! I was stunned it was my phone. But... Where'd you get it from? I found it in the forest. Oh. Well, how did you know it was ours, though? Okay, but why do you think it's mine? Somebody told me so. Have you ever seen him before? I don't know. I couldn't see his face, but he was dressed in a pioneer uniform. <gasps> Wait, that doesn't make sense. How can Lena be able to talk to someone? Everything was, everything was clear at once. And don't you wonder why that is? No, come on. Don't haggle Lena, dude. I looked at the screen. There was still some battery left. Therefore, the cell phone should look like a piece of plastic to Lena. I don't know. Some kind of game? Yeah, you're right. I quickly opened the snake in the menu and handed the phone to her. Here you go. A keepsake. Oh, what are you doing? I can't. Lena waved her hands at me. Take it. I have loads of these at home. She resisted a bit more, but finally she took the device. And what do I do with it? Press the keys and move left and right, and you gotta eat the pellets to keep them from hitting your own tail. Wow, it's so interesting. That dude, that's so weird. Like, th this happens, like, Semyon giving Lena her, his phone still happens in the Lena path and also happens in the Semyon path? Weird. She smiled. Thank you. Yet I have nothing for you. It's so embarrassing. I don't need anything. Thanks. No, that's not good. She said with a voice that sounded more confident than usual. It's the last day after all. Yeah. I hope we'll meet again. I think we will. Then I have a present for you. And what is it? Close your eyes. Oh my god, is she gonna kiss him? Ah! I did. I promise that you won't open them till I tell you. Okay. No, you have to promise. Alright, I promise. In a moment, I felt light kiss on my cheek. Ah! Oh, Lena, that's so sweet. She went in for it, dude. Oh my gosh. I was really eager to open my eyes, but I promised. Open. The room was empty. <laughs> Wait. How could she say open, but then like not be there when Simeon leaves? What a girl. The only thing I managed to say. So how does it feel, stud? <laughs> I heard Melissa's laughter from the place where Lena had just been sitting. Well, that was nice, though. So that was your new way of pranking me, eh? Using the others? 
Me pranking? God forbid. Indeed, you got a kiss from a sweet girl thanks to me. On the cheek. But anyway, I really wanted to beat him up at that moment, but I wasn't even sure he was physically- he was- he's a physical being here. The door suddenly burst open and Alyssa came in. Is it just me or has someone gone completely nutty nuts? She asked with a fright. Well, you could say so. I answered angrily. Why are you yelling? Because I want to. I've already realized that this accidental arrival of Alyssa was either planned by the, this pioneer or would be commented on by him in the manner that I'd soon drive a pair of nails into my ears and have to hear. Have you gone psycho or something? Elsa reclined on the bed in a laid-back manner. To what do I owe the honor? I just came for the sake of it, and you're here screaming. You aren't doing anything just for the sake of it. I've got nothing to do. I've packed my stuff. It's boring. Well, well. If you think that I came to you because... She threw an angry glance at me and turned away. I really shouldn't have come after that. After what? I haven't said a word. Of course, you thought it instead. Oh, so you can read minds now. There's no need to read your mind. It's written all over your face. It's hardly possible. It's hardly possible to read anything on my face besides fatigue and anger. And what have you read there? That's none of your business. I still don't know what voice I should give Alyssa, dude. I I'm not sure what vibe I'm getting from her. Hopefully, I can get up. Hopefully, I can think of something once I get to her path. Well, it's not like I'm. Oh, well, it's not like I'm holding you here. Forget it. I'll just go wherever I please. Don't boss me all around. Okay, stay here for God's sake. Anyway, I liked Alyssa's company way more than the Pioneers. <clears throat> I laid back and closed my eyes. It took Alyssa for a few minutes to break the silence. You really don't want to tell me anything. For example, today's the last day after all. So you're happy. Well, she babbled uncertainly. Everyone's leaving. Good riddance. And that's all? You need something else? Didn't you like it here? Her voice sounded unusual. I've seen better places. <laughs> Damn, you're so dumb speaking to you is a complete waste of time. She got up and headed to the exit. Yep, good luck to you too. Lessa turned to me. Her face was unwrithing with anger. Couldn't you have at least said that you'll miss me? Oh, oh, dude, oh. Oh. I can't even falter for that because I totally understand what she means. If she wants Semyon to say like, hey, dude, Oh man, that's oh Alyssa. Sure I will. Wimp. Okay, it's for me like Alyssa has that thing where it's like we want she wants us to say something that we she wants to hear, but then like we're not just saying it all. Oh, okay. You know what are the chances that like maybe like these Semians don't actually exist and they're just in our current timeline Semians head? No wonder. We were almost approaching the gates where I heard someone calling my name. Semyon! Semyon! Olga Dimitrima, excuse me just a minute. Okay, but make it fast or we'll leave without you. I headed for the bushes that the voice came from. Semyon! Semyon! And I know that what they told you, don't ask me how! Okay. But you must know one thing. The thing that I know, there's more dozens of us here. In fact, more than a thousand. Well, it's fucked. But a lot of people got out. Then why are you here? I stayed. Why? To help others find exit. Oh, that's nice. So if I don't go with you and leave on the bus, then I'll be destroyed, right? I don't know. Then why don't you say so? Nobody ever returned after a conversation with him. Oh, fuck. What if there's a Semyon just trying to kill the other Semyons out of here, dude? Listen, why should I trust you? Oh, dude, what if the metaphor for the other Semyons is a metaphor for all the players that have played this game? Fuck, just trying to get out of the loop? Fool, man. What? what what's up? That's some meta shit. Hurry up, time is running out. Hey, wait a second. Make a choice, are you coming or not? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is exciting. <clears throat> okay, this is very exciting. I'm gonna guess this is how- I'm gonna guess this is where the Semyon point distinguishes from good and bad path. Good and bad path. Oh man, I don't know what the logic of- it Like, I know I can't always go back and look at the ending, but I wanna know what would be the logic of- What's the logic of either of these things? I feel like I want to follow the voice because at this point, if we go back to the bus, it'll definitely start over again. 
and so we won't learn anything. So I think following the voice would help us learn something. Or the other option is that if we follow the voice, then we'll definitely fuck ourselves over. Uh fuck, dude. Okay. I'm gonna follow the voice and hope that's not a bad ending. Ah! Okay, let's go. Anyway, it sounded more credible than the crazy pioneer. Of course, this solution could be fatal, but the alternative isn't any better. Yeah, no, exactly. I take a shot in the dark. Okay, so where are we going? We are already there. My sword started to fade and I felt my consciousness leave me. Oh my god, was that the bad choice? Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, so he fucking killed us. Okay. Okay, well... Wow. Okay, so it was definitely the bad ending. Don't listen to voices in the forest. Maybe there's someone that was warning me of that, and I probably should have listened to that first. Damn it, why do I... See, I know this is the bad ending because this is not the happy-go-lucky music. This is the hardcore Russian music that's playing at the end. Well, okay, I didn't expect to get a bad ending right then and there. Uh, there's not even like a murder or anything? Well, okay, let's go back and not get a bad ending. Okay, well that sucked. It's time to go back and get the good ending. Now you know what? I just can't believe it. Only, only a couple minutes. At least I've known that other guy for a little bit longer. His arguments seem more weighty. Y'all be sorry. But who- what- who, what voice is that though? Those words sounded like they were coming from another world. The voice seemed to disappear. Of course, I couldn't be sure whether my choice was right or wrong. It was a blind guess enforced by a time limit. Nevertheless, whether I'm right or wrong, we'll find out soon. She was visibly nervous and desperately lost for words. I hope that I remember the time that you spent here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Olga being all sentimental and stuff. Digging through my pockets, I found that only a couple of candy wrappers, a pencil, and a scrap of paper. I held them for a moment, but I squatted. I put the paper on the ground and scribbled a few words. Wah! You are here for a reason. Wah! That's us! Green and my stupidity, I threw the scrap and the wheels of the bus and got to the cabin. But like, don't you remember? Don't we still have the original note? Like what? Oh hey, the people are different. For leaving in the morning versus leaving at night. I found a place in the middle. Oh no, back back here again. I still remember the scrap of paper and the few words on it. Damn it, I've seen them before. How could I be so ignorant? Maybe all these pioneers, all these gobbly gook clouded my consciousness so much. My was literally bursting with questions. However, physical fatigue and more importantly, emotional fatigue took its toll and I fell asleep. Aww. And then start from the game of the game again, right? Oh, oh, so there is an epilogue after this. Okay. Right, because this is like the good ending though, right? Huh. It's Fox Girl, right? I couldn't understand a word, but the girl looked very upset. I failed to understand what she needed from me. The time passed and she kept talking on and on. It was getting really annoying. <laughs> I wonder if she, I wonder if this girl is just the general person for the tra- Well, I'm sure she's the general person causing for all this time travel. But it's like, hey, hypo- Well, I have a hypothesis. Maybe there are multiple versions of her and she's the one that watches over me, specifically Semyon. You know, I'm wondering if they keep the the bad Semyon at the camp because they know if they return them back to the, his normal reality, he'll just go cuckoo and cradle everyone. But how? After all, the fact that I came back after a week-long absence is no stranger than my sudden appearance in some pioneer camp of the 80s in the first place. 80s! Okay. Gotcha. Does that mean I found it? Or I managed to get out of this endless loop? But how? Nevertheless, I wasn't sure whether I should rejoice 
over the last week. I just, wait, 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 wait. Semyon's desk in here is the same desk that's been shown in between cutscenes. Dude, it's that old phone and like the, the cup. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy, holy fuck. Nevertheless, I wasn't sure whether I should rejoice or grieve. An ironic laughter escaped my lips. Nah, that's not an option either. Then all that's all well that ends well? Well, I mean, we didn't really learn anything, so... I mean, I'd probably not! Last few hours in this camp flashed through my mind. Indeed, I, was hope I wasn't hoping to get out, either from the camp or from that reality, but I was pretty much ready to get to another week. I heaved a doom sigh. I got up from my bed with a considerable effort and went to the computer. That's weird, but according to it, only 14 hours have passed since my disappearance from the world, not a whole week. 14 hours? Huh, I wonder if that's the same in other timelines then. A new message in the instant messenger. Hi, nice, Semyon. Yesterday, it was legendary. See you later! My college friend. It was him who invited me to the party with the rest of the college friends that I was going to attend. Suddenly, all my senses came back to me. The headache, the dizziness, all the symptoms of a hangover. It looked like I was indeed at the party yesterday. And I was partying hard, so there was no pioneer camp. But then where did all these memories, emotions, and feelings come from? All this was so incomprehensible that I became enraged. I began cursing foully, tearing my, trying to tear my hair out and hammering the keyboard with my fist. I didn't return to a normal state until there were no keys left in it. Whoa, Semyon. Relax. Why should I care so much? Nobody worries when a dream or hallucination is. Say there that my return to reality became so undesirable for me? Yeah, no, it sucks. That sucks. See, it already sucks that you missed a party, you, that you don't remember a party that you were at. But then it also sucks that you maybe you might be missing the people that were at the Pioneer Camp. How long since gone to sleep mode? Finally moved the mouse and opened a few tabs in the browser. So what's new? F5, F5. Isn't F5 refreshed though, homie? Get home safely. Who the fuck is this? Probably some from yesterday's party. Seems like it. I wonder if it's like Fox, Fox Girl. You know, I know Semyon said he didn't have any friends, like, in his original timeline, but I'm wondering, since he was so cool at the party, what his normal- or what his current friends were like. I fell asleep with these thoughts. Come online. Hey! Hey? How are you doing? Doing fine. Probably I knew him from somewhere, but who cares anyway? Any news? Not really. Stability is the sign of a true class. One might say so. Oh, I see. The conversation was over for me, but he didn't seem to feel like that. Why don't you ask him who he is, Semyon? So, what are you talking about? Don't you get it? I start. I was starting to. I prefer you explain. Yeah. Oh fuck! Don't you remember the camp, <gasps> dude? This is another Semyon then. It felt like the electronic shock, electric shock. Oh, so you do remember it? My hallucination seems to be continuing. Or did I never leave the camp in the first place? Or is this just a dream? Or someone's fucking with us? The smiling at the end of the line looked like the devil himself, stretching its deformed jaws to devour me. Yeah, what what is the meaning of this? You could- this message could have easily- This person could have easily not messaged us about this. Why it is happening to me? I finally made up my mind to ask the question. Nothing. Nothing at all. You're just living your regular life. But the camp. Was it real? And what do you think? I'm not sure. If it seemed real to you, then yes. If it, it was real. If not, then it wasn't. It's just that simple. That's not simple at all. Yeah, okay. What will happen to me next? I whispered. Nothing to worry about. It seems like it really hurt me when I was- you <laughs> it seemed like it really hurt me without the use of the internet. Terror changed my whole body, but I closed my eyes. You are the reason for everything. Excuse me? Are you trying to tell me that I'm a protagonist in a visual novel right now? The message itself. The message window was flickering coldly. And what's next? Oh, you'll see soon enough. The fuck does that mean? Everything started to fade black in my eyes. No, that can't be it. Eric, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. Hit the report span button, close the window, switch the browser, and glance at the clock. Time to get going or I'll be late. No, that's it? Dude, wait. Wait, so does that mean just Semi and just gets to return to his normal life? Did he lose his memories? What? Dude. I I think this this ending's supposed to be the least fulfilled out of all of them, right? Like that's the thing because it's just Semyon. So like he doesn't get fulfilled, he hasn't learned anything because he hasn't gone through anything. Hmm. What a weird, weird path. 
Well. Well, y'all. That's the end of our revisit. <laughs> ah, shit. That was that took a lot shorter than I expected. You know what that means, everybody? It means it's time that we got back to our actual new work. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Holy shit. That ending, though. Like, what? Forever Alone, Epic Fail, Comfy Guy, True Endure, Living the Dream, it's Down the Road, Not Across the Street. That's fucked. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Now that that's the last of our revisit, y'all know what that means. It means it's time to get back down into business and start up the channel with some new content. So, wow. It's fucking over. Oh my god. Uh, hopefully I can get this out soon enough. Hopefully I'll have everything up soon enough. Oh man. A lot of things are coming, y'all. A lot of things. Thank you for everyone that was watching this video. And if you watch the other two hodgepodges of videos, then thank you for that as well. Um, yeah, I'm fucking- ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, everyone. Oh shit, it's over. Oh my god. <laughs> now I don't have to record. Oh my god. Now uh. Oh my god. Okay. Now I just have to sit here and edit and just get everything out and then it'll be all good. And it'll be all fun and it'll be all great. Okay, I gotta stop this recording so I can get to work. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for any support that you're giving me. And I'll do everything I can to make sure that all the Everlasting Summer playthrough and content is at least great or is at least good enough for people to watch. <sighs> yeah, no, sorry. Let me go back and say I'll, I'll do my best to make sure all the Everlasting Summer content on my channel from moving forward will be great or at least be entertaining. Same thing, I guess. So I'll do my best. No, not I'll do my best. Ah. I got this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm a. I'm gonna do it, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh my gosh, that's like every typical YouTuber's thing at the end. Um, yeah, no, I just. I'll. I'll catch you all later, everyone. Take it easy.